Shields up, Ironbreakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another episode of the Elden Ring Blind Playthrough. And you guys might be looking around and saying, Rurikan, why are we back at the Lake of Rot? And that is because you might have forgotten. But I didn't. He's still there. You've never fought him. And the time has come to fight him. And something tells me we're going to be getting dragged into Scarlet Rot all over this place. And if that's the case, might as well don the old, the trusted mushroom man hat. Let's get to it. Hello. That's a lot of damage. Okay, this lock on is going to be a problem. What? I was blocking. Oh my god. Stop that. No, I'm not going over there. You have to be the one to come over here. Come on, come on! No! No like this! Give me a proper arena to fight on and I'll show you. Die! Sunny Jim? Great enemy? Really? Dragon skill. Wait, is this the overpowered thing from the network test? Is this where you get it? Because I remember this weapon. Yeah, this is the one. Ice lightning sword. Yep. <laughs> this is the most powerful weapon in the in the network test. Uh, basically, when you do this, lightning will come up, and then it becomes enchanted with both lightning and ice, which is, um, yeah, it was a beastly weapon. I was wondering when I was going to run into that one. Hadn't seen you in a while. All right. I guess now we can go ahead and collect all of the items around here. So that's a golden rune 10. That's a lightning proof dried liver. Let me go ahead and flame cleanse me. Boop. There's another one over there. So it's like, you want to get this if you want to get that sword. Golden Rune 7. Is that it? I think that actually might be it. Well, we can get rid of this. Got his ass. Got his ass good. But yeah, today I figured, you know, let's uh, let's actually clean up a couple of things. Uh, what is th Why does this one still have a chest here? And... Whatever. And here, I'm not going to go to because I, I don't actually remember what the hell that's about. But uh, there's another location that I want to clean up on because we haven't been there in a while. And some of you guys might have thought that I had forgotten about it. Wow, interesting. There's actually two dungeons that I haven't encountered here. I need to go look for these dungeons, see where the hell they are. But I'm not gonna, I'm not going to go to the ice just yet because, like I said, if you guys remember, there's a location that we've been to before. That we didn't really explore properly. 
And that location is here. And there's also another thing that has been bothering me because I was editing videos yesterday because after the Melania fight, I was like, Phew, need to like relax a little. So I went and I edited videos. Not, not necessarily the most relaxing thing that you should do. But when I was editing those videos, um, I was reminded of something that is very important. And that is this. In the hidden path to the Halleck tree, there was beast's eye quivers. Oh my god, are you going to crash on me again? So I verified the game on Steam and apparently there was uh, one of my files. It said that was like, I don't know, corrupted or was not proper and it was replaced, but I don't know. I don't know what that's about. I haven't modified the game at all, so I don't know why there would be like a messed up file in the middle of, um, the middle of my game files, but turns out that was the case. Anyway, as I was saying, we're gonna be going, uh, do I have all of my... I actually want to have less flasks on mana. Uh, yeah, let's go like this. But yeah, see, in here, supposedly, there's a beast's eye quiver thing. At least I remember there being a beast's eye quiver thing. Oh, I hate you, you tiny little person. This guy does beast claws, and it hits like a goddamn truck. Didn't the beast eye quiver somewhere around here? Yeah, see? So there should be a mariner around here somewhere, a tibia mariner. At least I'm pretty sure that every time it's been a tibia mariner. Now we're gonna have to deal with this thing, which is annoying. I target it, thank you. Didn't quite hit the beak there. Need to get that beak just right. Oh, come on, I hit that. Are you kidding me right now? Thank you. Now you stay there and you enjoy that boiling lava. And now you can go ahead and die. Now, I have to figure out, because there's either like a secret passage here or something of that nature, but there's something here. Because they don't just tell you, oh, the beast's eye is quivering for no reason. It's like, listen, if the beast's eye is quivering, then there's an enemy in here that is summoning undead or whatever. There's one of those who lives in death around here somewhere. Wasn't there like, yeah, there's a, a thing here. Can I drop here? No. There's a passage there though, like look at that. Yeah, there's definitely something down there. Hmm. I mean, we do have the benefit of using these. Well, all right then. If 
For real? Holy crap, there's more of it. Okay, now look, there's no way they expect you to... I was about to say navigate the whole thing, but... Silver Scarab. I'm gonna go ahead on a limb and say that this scarab increases your chance to find magic items. Where is the silver scarab? Wait, it's not a helmet? The hell is it then? It's a charm. Raises item discovery. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Who'd have thunk it? Uh, let's go ahead and grab this for now. I hate these. I really do. But as I was saying, there's a torch that is supposed to light up invisible enemies. Would that work for ground? Which I think is this one, right? Torch gives respect to the earth, there's flames, but those special in condition allows the bear to see assassins cloaked in veils. It says assassins cloaked in veils. I mean, I already know I'm gonna fall on my ass. It's just straight up gonna happen. I hate these. Cause like, dude, who has the patience to like, do this? Oh well. I remember that was an item back in the crystal cave that I would never get. It was uh, a blue slab or something like that. I would never get that. I mean, I've gotten it like once, but then I'd stop getting it because I didn't like doing this. At least in here, I feel like it's a little bit faster. Alright. For a lousy sacramental bud. Okay, so... Wait, there's a dude down there. See, this is where they get you. This is where they get you. Let me just see. Can I craft these? I can. Oh, nice. These are just like ruin fragments? Yeah, dude, give me like 50 of them. Oh, you can... Okay, well, thank you. You just marked this thing for me. Well, at least this time it's just straight lines. Homeboy got souls. Hero's Rune. Not this way. Not this way. Well, this is this is bad. 
Wait, is it through here? Oh, you nasty bastard. This one, they're actually gonna force me to fight. Kinda. I got a plan. I got, I got, I got, I got the plan. I got the master plan. Not that. Uh, give me knives. Screw that guy. It's another one. Now you. Okay. That one I just wanted to bring it down. Dude, that thing is massive. Is that just me? Settle down. No! I don't care for what you're doing. Old Fang. Yeah, Old Fang. And then the ovary. There is a stake of Marika. Did I neglect to look up? Because I can't really tell if there's something there. Ooh. Dude, why is there so many of you tiny bastards? I'm be real, I didn't expect this to be as in-depth as it's been. Ow. Vulgar Militia Armor. Vulgar Militia Saw. Wait, what? The hell is the Vulgar Militia Saw? It looked like a... It looked like a saw cleaver. From friggin... Bloodborne. That's a halberd. Let me guess, it's got bleeding damage? Causes blood loss build up 55. Weapon comprised of a saw blade attached to a long grip, brandished by the vulgar militia. Its serrated edge is very effective at afflicting blood loss. The saw is said to be used to cut up bodies to feed the militia, but there are no first-hand witnesses to confirm the dire rumor. Did I even read the description of the katana that we got earlier? It's a katana, so I don't care about it. Weapon made by sharpening a gravel stone scale, thought to be the source of ancient dragon immortality, into an unclouded blade. Alas, the dragonkin soldiers never attained immortality and perished as decrepit, pale imitations of their skyborn kin. What's the moveset on this? Regular halberd? Yep. It's got the spinning slash, right? Spinning slash. Alrighty, let's go ahead swap to this. Pop that mana. Good to go. There's a snail here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Looks like this whole area is covered by a stake of Marika. Elevator? Hmm. 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 Oh, you cheeky bastard. Well, well, well. Probably gonna have to go this way. So before we do that, let's go ahead and ah, I missed it. Really? Really, dude? There's nothing here? No way. No way. Can't believe you would do this to me. I can't believe you've done this. Also, I don't like the fact that we're sitting on 110,000 souls. Runes. Runes. Take a shot every time I say souls. Your liver is dead. You are now going into the ER with liver failure. I apologize. This is my fault. I gotta say, this helmet is growing on me because it looks like a dwarven beard, except it's a helmet. They actually made a helmet that I can wear as a beard. It's cool. But I mean, I already have a sweet beard in this character, but... It's very nice of them. I expected a trap in the ceiling. What have we here? Wait, what? Did you? You didn't. You wouldn't. Oh, you did. How dare you? How? Di well, at least my stones will still be there. <laughs> <laughs> at least my stones are still here, so there's that. You guys think there's something that way? I don't know, dude. Like, I want to I wanna just finish exploring this way. So... The way to go back to where we were is through... Then again, it's like... I don't think I'm going to find the thing that I want in there. So considering that there is another light... There... I suspect that that is actually where we have to go to open that door. Uh, did I ever craft those 50 things or did I get interrupted because an enemy was around? I think I got interrupted, right? Yeah, I did. So, give us like 50 of them suckers. I mean, this is such an easy resource to get that it really is whatever. Uh, I need to swap this back. Well, that's not going to work. This is as far as this corridor goes. Um, where else could it be, though? I think that this might just be it, and I have to find, like, a secret passage down there somewhere. Because if it's not that, I truly am lost. Did I check this wall? Of course I did. I don't remember if I checked here. I think I might have. But I mean, it's like I don't want to be beaten up on every goddamn wall we find. Because that'd be dumb. But it might just be what we need. Oh yeah, here's the stake. 
The stake of Marika is right here, so as to respawn you near the boss once you figure out the puzzle to opening the door. You just gotta figure out the puzzle to open the door. Oh my god, it's all the way... I got nothing to say. I got nothing to say. I'm an idiot. I'm blind. Whatever you want to call me, okay? It's fine. I'll take it. Thank you. All right. Let's see what awaits us here. It's a mimic tier. Oh god! <laughs> oh man, it would sure suck if I went in here without a weapon. <laughs> Oh no, please stop. Is he throwing things at me? But you don't have a weapon. <laughs> Excuse me, I need to go get my um I need to go get these. Thank you. Hey, can I get this chest while I'm at it? No? I should have stripped naked too. Okay. He messed me up with this thing though. Jesus Christ. Did you see how fast he messed me up with the... With the art that I use? I don't know. I don't know if you should be allowed to do this. I feel like they should give him a pity weapon if people don't give him a weapon. Like, just have him get like... <laughs> He's throwing fucking stones at me. <laughs> oh, look at you. Ah, <laughs> uh, you poor guy. Okay, let's actually bash him open. Bop. Black Flame Monk Amon. Okay. Death Root. Alrighty then. Didn't I get like two Death Roots already that I can give to Guronk at this point? Um, we'll give it to the to him soon. I promise. Soon we'll give it to him. But uh, I'm thinking that I want to do something else right now. See, because I want to go to the other place that I told you guys about. For that, we need the four belfries. And I need to remember which one it was. Okay. And I should also level up while I'm at it. Uh, but strength at 56 as well. 38,000 is a loss I can I can live with at this point considering how many souls we've lost over time uh, I suspect it was this one right don't they say something they do precipice of anticipation nope this is going back to where we were that means that this one's probably the eternal night right if I remember correctly night sky unceasing yep and that one will be shattered something. Like the Elden Ring. Crumbling lands. Let's go. 
so I suspect that there are probably other ways to reach this zone, but this is the only way that I know of right now. Rumbling for room Azula. So first time we came here, we got our ass beat. We got our ass beat real bad. So let's see how we do this time. Then again, first time I came here was like with a plus six weapon or something. And those rat boys right there. Oh, those are actually beastmen. They messed me up some fierce. Oh, they're still pretty tough. So if I remember correctly, the problem with this is that... Okay, let's get this. I know you're just trying to get range so that you can pelt me with that shit. Can you stop? Am I really going to die to these dudes again? Careful, don't fall over. He didn't listen. You should have listened, it was good advice. Bonk. Oh yeah, you are squishy. Bonk. Look at how annoying you are. You see how annoying you are? Oh hi. Pearl Drake Talisman. Am I locked into this one now? No way. Are those dragons? It does seem like I'm locked here. We can't pull out the horse. So seriously, you come here, you get the Pearl Drake Talisman, and then what? You die? Is that the whole intended, like, part of this? Is you just come here to get this thing? Because I'm not dying. Screw that. Screw dying. Oh! Oh, wow! We are too far away! So, I guess this is actually not how we're supposed to go there. There's probably another way to get here. Maybe this is like an endgame zone or something? But I genuinely expected it to be more than just a Pearl Drake Talisman. I mean, Pearl Drake Talisman isn't even that important, right? If I remember correctly. Pearl Drake Talisman boosts non-physical damage negation. Wait, what? Vastly boosts non-physical... Oh, non-physical damage negation. So, this is just like... Catch-all spell negation. Okay. I still can't believe that they would put you in an area that there's no way back. But yeah, I guess they do. I mean, they did the same thing for the night sky unceasing. So, tell you what. We're gonna go back and I just want to have a good look from where we start off. But it does seem like that's that for that particular area. I'm probably going to be exploring uh, Mount Gelmer off camera. Uh, because I suspect that there's still stuff in the Volcano Manor that I didn't get to see. So, I'll do that one off camera, and then if I find something, we'll record it in the next episode or something. But for today, we're probably going to go back to the ice. We're going to start exploring the ice. Right after I check this thing out again. Hmm. 
resting at Sites of Grace, leaving co-op signs, container items. Okay, so if we actually see here, Crumbling Farum Azula, we'd need like a teleporter or something that would be able to take us elsewhere. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything. It's like you drop there. Yeah, there's no direct connection to that place. So we'll have to figure out another way to get there. If we even can. And then from here, yeah, just everything goes down to there, where you got these two beastmen. And then it, it all seems like it just goes to you getting that Pearl Drake Talisman, that's it. I mean, it was the same thing with the Crucible Knight. You guys remember that? The Crucible Knight for Night Unceasing, whatever. It's, I guess it's kind of like a preview to let you know, oh man, look at the things you're going to be seeing, dude. Things amazing. You're going to be seeing some amazing stuff. Okay, so it's time for us to properly explore this place. Um, I suspect that... Yeah, we explored this. I don't think we explored this, did we? I think that for that, you'd need to come over here. And then go down. This way. To go explore that. Oh yeah, there's also still um that, which gives us a boss fight. So I guess I'll go check that out now. Because we kind of skipped that boss fight the first time we were there. Uh, let's see. Directly here. That will do some more thorough exploration of the ice. The, the thing about the ice is like, due to the fact that it reminds me so much of the frigid outskirts, I just have PTSD. It's not even about ice areas, because I usually love ice areas. It's mostly because it's so foggy. Alright, let's see what we get from this. Wait, what? I still haven't equipped this. Enter the Everjail. Alright, who's in here? Round table night bike. Looks like you're running out there, buddy. It's a nice looking spear you got there, though. Does it come with the red lightning? I don't remember seeing you at the round table. Mike's Dragon Bolt. Fingerprint helm, fingerprint armor, fingerprint gauntlets, fingerprint greaves. Okay. The fingerprint set. Lord Contenders. Iron armor singed and blistered by fingers. Singed and blistered? Worn by Vike, knight of the round table hold. No other tarnished was closer to the throne of the Elden Lord than Vike, but without announcement, Vike traveled far below the capital and was scorched by the flame of frenzy. Did he make his choice for his maiden, or did some other force lure him with suggestion? Hmm. It's like, the thing is, I've been down there. I've been looking, like, off, off camera. I've been down there, and I've been looking for alternate passageways. And I didn't find anything. 
I didn't actually find anything, which is concerning. Okay, here it is. Fingerprint helm. Iron helm singed and blistered by fingers worn by Vike, knight of the round table hole. No other tarnish was closer to throne than the Lord and Vike. That announcement, Vike traveled far below to the capital and was scorched by the flame of frenzy. I mean, the reason he would choose to do that journey is the same reason I want to do that journey. Uh, let me also check out that miracle that we got. Which was... Vike's Dragon Bolt. Bolsters right hand armament and body with red lightning. Incantation of Vike. Knight of the Round Table Hold. Summons red lightning to bolster both the caster's body and their armament held in right hand. Chance armament with lightning of an attack increases maximum equipment load. However, lightning damage negation will be reduced. Of all the knights, Vike the Dragon Spear was the one Lanciax loved the most. Yeah, we killed him too. We killed his ass too. <clears throat> so I can get rid of this. And considering we're at the edge here, might as well go forth and see what's happening here. Wait, did I already explore that? I think I explored this. How the hell did I ever get up here? Is there like a... Oh, there's a pathway, right? This pathway leads here. And we just kind of rushed it. Yeah, the pathway with the dogs leads here. Okay, we're gonna bypass the dogs. I'm gonna go straight into that church over there. See what's going on. Because obviously we skipped that one earlier. Oh! There's Jellyfish Boy to symbolize it and everything. And apparently there is a side of grace. First Church of Marika! That has to be an important one. The first church. Oh, but that marks that place. <clears throat> now, there are things to explore. Ooh. That's a tower. So, wait. This is immediately after the thing. So, there's snow... There's a- there's even a carriage around this place. Yeah, we have to start here because this is actually- This is actually where you first arrive. And this was an area that I was not looking forward to exploring because of this. And without this and without a map to kind of like guide you, it's just a complete pain. I was really hoping we'd eventually be able to just get rid of the- you get rid of the, the snow. Friggin' seat the scaleless wannabes. Stop it. Golden rune times 11. Is there a way to climb up here? Oh, look at me, sky rimming my way up, up here. I don't think you're supposed to- Yeah, this is just like impassable mountains anyway, so... Okay, so if we keep going this way, there are some ruins up ahead.
And I remember a carriage nearby here. Problem is I can't even open the map because I'm in combat right now. But yeah, see, this is why I wanted to avoid exploring this place the first time around. Because all you guys are going to see, particularly after YouTube compression, is white. Like, that's it. It's just a big blob of white. Right up until you get to Ordina, which is when it kind of, like, starts clearing up, I guess. What are you guys guarding? What? Kind of makes you wonder, where does the carriage even come from? Ooh. I mean, hell, where's the wind coming from? There's a mountain right in front of me! Shouldn't be that much wind around here. There should also be a dungeon somewhere nearby. According to the statue that we triggered. Should be a dungeon right about here. A lump of flesh. And there it is. That's the dungeon. We're not gonna go in there just yet. We're just gonna mark that sucker. Dude, it's gonna be full on white in here as well. Oh, thank God. Okay. So, we will put a skull on this one. Because we're not clearing that one yet. We'll leave that one for later. I think that for today, my objective should be to get the contents of the carriage. Let's try to find that sucker. Uh oh. Remember the carriage went through here, if I'm not mistaken. A page. Yeah, it definitely went through here. Okay, this doesn't seem like a good path for a carriage, so maybe it makes a turn here. Yep, here it is. Did it stop? Yeah, it did. Then we can just loot it. Alright, call your people. Makes it easier for me. There's Paige back there. Yep, just waiting to pelt me with a crossbow bolt. Time to die, Paige. But nice try, though. I'll see you later. Are oh, you even gonna drop some red branch short bow? Interesting. Yeah, that's the statue. Wait, where where the carriage go? The carriage was right here. Oh, it is still moving, after all. Only a little further now, show me the path of gentle lights, the path to Alphel. This guy's trying to get to Alphel. Let me tell you, dude. As someone who's been there, this is not a place you want to go to. Get him. Wait, the giants are different here. They're furry. Well, furry, wooly, whatever you want to call it, right? I mean, the hell with it. Let's just get the contents now. This is a tough boy. Now listen, I'm gonna get the contents of this carriage. Give a damn what you have to say about it, son. 
Bonk. 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 No. Bonk. See, I knew I was getting hit right there. Bye bye. Did you drop anything? No. Okay. Saint Trina's torch. What does that do? Does that also illuminate the invisible assassins and all this other nonsense? Okay, so that would make sense because this one's right before Ordina. Candlestick torch that burns with a light purple flame. The carving depicts Saint Trina, but in adult form, somewhat unnerving. The light purple flame induces sleep. Fires of slumber burn, blow into the candlestick's flame, creating a stream of hazy purple fire to cover the ground ahead. Nah, we can't do it. Eh. Nope. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Okay, so we found that. It looks like these ruins around here don't really matter that much, but there is a tower this way that we should be able to... Wait, not this way, this way. Right, yeah. That we should be able to get to. There's probably going to be a puzzle there. Not that I need, like, another memory thing. Another memory slot or something like that, but... Oh, you boys. No, we don't want that. We're not putting down what you guys are selling. Alright. Albanoric Rise. So there's no puzzle indicator here. Although I suspect the idea is that you would summon the ashes of... You would summon... Because there's like imp ashes. I don't think I've gotten those yet. But I think that's the idea. Stop it. Yeah, cause like, hmm, I need to see if I have them or not. But what if, what if I don't have enough mana for them? They have to be cheap on mana. Well, you can get them as a gift, a keepsake early on, so. Let's see if I've picked those up or not. That would be a big fat no. I do have Lantenna though. Although I don't think I can summon her, can I? I have Clayman Ashes and I have Albanoric Ashes. But I don't... Where's Lantenna? There she is. No, I can't summon Lantenna. Unless... Yeah, it's like, this definitely seems like you're supposed to summon... The Imps, because they're fighting each other. I'm... I'm gonna try summoning Lantenna, though, because I do have a way that I think might work for summoning her. Uh, no, this puts us at 69. How about if I do Marika's? Okay, Marika's works just on the limit.
Would be interesting if that was how this one worked. But I th again, I, I don't think that this is what I need to summon. I think I need to find the imp ashes. Which who the hell even knows where those are? Lantena, can you open the door for me? Must solve the puzzle to enter. Can you go kill these guys? Lantena, like shoot this dude right in his face. No, it doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I think it'd have to be the imp statues. Otherwise, I don't see how we could fix that, but... Uh, I'll have to find the imp statues, and if I don't, then I won't be able to fix this tower. Albinoric Rise. So beyond that, there's some stuff to explore like around here. And around here. And then there's an earth tree. Kinda. Around here. So these are the things that I still have left to explore. So that's what we'll do in the next episode. We'll run around through here. And then through here. Clear that thing. Um... And then after that, yeah, after that, I don't know, because I think there's only one path left. And I'm trying to avoid it at every cost, because I'm trying to make sure that I check everything out before I get to that path. But we'll see. Either way, thank you all very much for watching. You guys are enjoying the playthrough. Do remember, hit the like button. helps out a lot. Um, and uh, subscribe, bell notification, icon, all that jazz. See you guys next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.